that, let's uh, you know take our viewers through the importance of this indigenous aircraft for the Indian Air Force, and we look at Tejas MK One A in brief detail uh, over here. So let's see the maximum speed for the Tejas MK One A is Mac One Point Eight. So that's faster than the speed of sound. The range is th about 3,000 kilometers uh, of flying and payload capacity is over 4,000 kgs. So we are seeing this significant improvement. Also, it's capable of carrying a variety of air-to-air, air-to-surface and precision guided weapons. So clearly now we are seeing that its capabilities include air to air missiles and air to surface as well along with precision guided weapons. So clearly this is a big boost to the Indian Air Force fleet. Next let's look at how it is being developed. Currently it's being developed by HAL, uh, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. And it is an upgraded variant of India's light combat aircraft LCA Tejas. And why this is very important is because it's a big boost to our Make in India Atma Nirbhar Bharat. And uh, since this is being developed by HAL, and today, in fact, uh, two of these aircraft will be handed over uh, at the Nasik facility to the Indian Air Force. Now let's look at some of its capabilities. Active electronically scanned array radar integration is there and this is a very advanced version of radar integration and this technology will now be featured in the Tejas MK1A, the ele active electronically scanned array or ASA radar integration. We'll look at some other capabilities as well, which includes radar warm, uh, warning and self-protection jamming. So clearly now radar warming, uh, warning also is there and a self-protection jamming uh, feature is also present in this new upgraded version of the Tejas. Also, we have an upgraded flight control computer uh, for better maneuverability and stability. So now even the flight control computer has been upgraded in this new Tejas that is being developed by HAL. And uh, this, this will help in better maneuverability and also stability of the aircraft since we are seeing more speed and payloads in this. Now let's look at uh, other capabilities like air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles and advanced so short-range air-to-air missiles. Or, um, so we are seeing now that these missile weapon integration testings had also been conducted by HAL for this upgraded uh, you know, aircraft. And these included air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles along with advanced short-range air-to-air missiles. So now we are seeing that this weapons integration testing has already been completed and now IAF once it gets the handover of these first two aircrafts, we will see it actually, uh, you know, testing them out. Next on the capabilities are, uh, you know, uh, we can see how Tejas has actually now been upgraded and a senior HAL uh, official has actually said that uh, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh will actually be present uh, for this handover and this Tejas third Tejas production line was actually initiated in 2023 with a view to fast track the delivery of the LCA Tejas aircraft to the Indian Air Force. Now remember viewers, uh, even though the Indian Air Force currently stands at uh, 31 squadrons, we need more squadrons and uh, HAL had been facing some engine supply issues uh, when it was dealing with the GE. However, now there seems to have smoothened out all the issues that were there in the engine supply management. And um, there, there is an enhanced capacity of this entire HAL operation. And the new assembly line is now fully equipped with 30 structural assembly jigs and it covers 
all major aircraft modules. This also line apart from giving a boost to the Atmanirbhar plan, it is also going to create new jobs uh, in this sector uh, because HAL will be hiring a lot of people for these new in fact, uh, uh, you know, facilities where stages uh, will be upgraded. So clearly, viewers, we can now, we will see at which jet engine actually powers this stages flight. And remember, viewers, we have been talking about how there had been some delay uh, because of uh, the GE sub engine supply chain management. So now let's look at the jet engine which actually powers the Tejas. The Tejas MK1A is powered by US made General Electric F404 GE in 20 engine. So this is the particular engine that is going to power this upgraded version of the Tejas. Remember, we have received the fourth uh, engine in September, uh, which is last month, and we are going to receive two more in December. The F404 in 20 variant is customized for India's light combat aircraft. So the reason why we are actually going for this US made engine is only because it has been customized specifically for the indigenously built uh, light combat aircraft Tejas. And the F404 delivers 84K and thrust for high performance combat. So the thrust power is actually 84 kN and high powered combat, it will matter a lot going forward. And it also provides 19,000 LBS thrust enabling 1,350 kilometer per hour speed. So that's a lot of, uh, you know, speed in fact, uh, even for the upgraded Tejas because of this engine. Now the modular design, aids maintenance and ensures reliable flight ops. So one of the most important flight, uh, important op, uh, you know, things that you have to keep in mind when you're building an aircraft is maintenance in the long run. And since this modular design, it will help actually the Indian Air Force, uh, you know, maintain it properly. It is manufactured in Lynn in Massachusetts by the GE Aerospace. So like we said that GE or General Electric is actually supplying this engine uh, especially customized for our indigenous aircraft. India has procured, uh, procured the F404 via HALG contracts since 1980s. So this uh, aircraft, this engine that we are talking about, not the specific variant, however, uh, HAL and GE Motors have been in uh, you know, collaboration since the 1980s. They have been giving us or supplying us with this engine. 99 engines also were ordered in 2021 for uh, $110 million with deliveries still ongoing. So we can see that over 90 engines were ordered uh, from there and the deliveries are currently still ongoing. So we can see how uh, HAL 